Hello, YouTube. Uh, today we're playing Professor Layton in the Lost Future. Let me quickly reset this. Sonic having a dance-off or a wedding subplot. Didn't they already have a dance-off? Wow, there's no intro to this game. In the first one? Or what was that? In the bar? I don't know. New game. Oh. Uh. Don't remember. Like, he... He goes off his, uh, to-do list in, like, a five-minute scene. He does, like, 20 things in five minutes, so, you know, I don't blame you for not remembering. This is a work of fiction. The characters, groups, and events portrayed within are in no way intended to resemble those of the real world. Oh, really? I guess we're going. Uh... With not Russians, okay. It just doesn't seem to add up, Professor. I London doesn't exist in the real world. You're right, Cook. What? You're right. I wouldn't dream of it. Are you here from for some really stupid puzzles? Professor, I hope this letter Have you played finds this you one? Well. As for me, I am in quite a predicament. You see, the London we know and love has been thrown into absolute chaos. To complicate matters, the calamity I speak of does not take place in your time. This may not be difficult to believe, but I am writing to you from 10 years in the future. In the future? I know this is a lot to take in, but I'll explain it all soon. For now, I ask that you head to the clock shop on Midland Road in Baldwin. I look forward to seeing you again. Your favorite? Your student. Luke I don't Triton. know if I played this one. I played Pandora's Box and the 3DS one, but I don't think I've played this one. Strange as it sounds, it seems that the author of this letter is none other than your future self, Luke. From my future self? But how is that even possible? I don't know, but it does raise the question, if this letter is indeed authentic, how did it get here? Um, by time-traveling postman? Just joking, <laughs> of course. But seriously... I think this mystery might be the strangest we've ever encountered. Indeed. And even in the future, you seem to need my help in solving it. Is this twitch.tv slash TV? What? <laughs> what are you... What? <laughs> also, my internet is not great today, but... Your constancy that's fine. can be... Quite a comfort in these uncertain yeah. times, my Justin boy. Justin.tv slash Bengera. Uh, well, thank you. I think. Uh, but back to the letter. How do we know it's real? Hmm. Well, we haven't much to go on yet. But I can't help but think that this strange occurrence is connected to the terrible events of last week. New. Professor Layton has received a mysterious letter. The sender claims to be Luke from 10 years in the future, but how can this be possible? It all started about a week ago. Using a six dimension alpha distributor, I was able to guide a concentrated stream of ham and air particles through a temporal vortex, more commonly known as a wormhole. A stream of particles allowed me to divine the terminal points of the vortex. Armed with this information, 
The next step was to artificially distort the flow of time, generate what? a massive magnetic field via a solar coil. I saw you were playing a sports game yesterday, Sting. Quite literally punched. I already forgot which one though. I just saw you that you were streaming it. I didn't. I didn't get time to watch your stream. Chomp. Quite the spread we have here, Inspector. Though it does make me wonder what we did. Madden ninety-seven. Oh God. Such a feast. Madden is American football. It's obvious, Barton. I'm an influential man in the world of law enforcement. It's only natural I'd be invited it's to an egg. important right. event such as this. Uh, I suppose that's possible. Possible, you say? Um, uh, probable. Highly probable, sir. Dude, N64 had good sports games, okay? Such an area to investigate. People watching the event from the windows. What the what lovely day! Just the perfect time for an event. This appeared to be the entrance to the time machine. Oh, this food is simply dreadful, Bill. Uh, do get this over with quickly so we can leave. Oh yes, dear. I have to say, I feel a bit out of place here, Professor. That's quite understandable, Luke. I'm sure most people would feel the same way in the presence of the Prime Minister. Hey, look! I think I see Inspector Chelmy over there. Hmm. So, Professor. What so, Luke has a different voice event? in America? Do you think that someone has really built a working time machine? Why? I'm not entirely sure. Still, if it proves to be true. Can you imagine the stir it will cause in the scientific community? Well, I think it's really exciting. Though you don't sound entirely convinced, Professor. Anything's possible, Luke. But I won't be convinced until I've seen the contraption work for myself. It's nice that this has full voice acting. And I must confess, something about this entire presentation seems a bit... off. Why do you say that? Ah, oh, of course. That must be your famous intuition talking, eh? That's one way of putting it. But enough speculation. Look over there, Luke. That god? What about him? He reminds me of a puzzle. He seems to be looking for a man who snuck into the event uninvited. Ooh, so we have an intruder in our midst. What's in here? Our stuff. Okay. Oh, puzzle time. A party crasher. There's an uninvited guest at the presentation, but the guards received a few clues as to his whereabouts. His table is adjacent to one that has a red flower on it. His tablecloth is a different color to any adjacent tables. Oh, and his table doesn't have a yellow flower on it. Adjacent tables are connected by dotted lines. Take the guard to the correct table. 
Okay, so it's adjacent to a red flower. Uh, use the stylus to drag the card in the bottom corner of the touch table. Touch screen to the table. When you have the correct table, touch submit. So it's it's next to it's adjacent to a table with a red flower on it. So it is not this one. It is not this one. Alright. His tablecloth is a different color to any adjacent tables. Okay, so it's not this one. It's not this one. Uh, it's not these. It's not these. It's not this one. It's not this one. And... His table doesn't have a yellow flower on it. So, it's next to one with a red flower, yes. It has uh, a different color to any adjacent table, yes. And it doesn't have red flower on it, yes. Okay. Here's my answer. Yeah! I knew it! I didn't even need the final hint. Good work. You found the party crasher. It's time to let the guard do what he does best. My boy. Picarats are points that indicate a puzzle's difficulty. The more Picarats the puzzle is worth, the tougher it is when you submit. Whatever. Once you've beaten the game and saved, go to the bonus assignment on your game file. Oops, I clicked. Oh well. Thanks so much for your help. Always found the sound of flowing water very relaxing. Don't we get any hint coins here yet? Guess not. Wine? Ladies and gentlemen! Thank you for taking part in an event that will undoubtedly go down in scientific history! And here to demonstrate mankind's first time machine is its creator, Dr. Alan Stangan! Thank you, my esteemed colleagues. After years of research in the field of time travel, I'm pleased to share the fruits of my labor. In just a few short moments, I will be moving on to our scheduled demonstration. But first, I'm delighted to announce that Prime Minister Bill Hawks is in attendance today. As such, I have reserved a very special seat for our very special guest. Please. Join me on stage, Prime Minister. No need to be shy. Awkward walk. Is this thing real? What do you mean? I mean, is this contraption a genuine working time machine? Why don't you have a seat? See for yourself. Before we start, would you honor us with a few words, Prime Minister? Where's this guy's mouth? Good afternoon, everyone. Today is a monumental day, not only for our great nation, but for the entire human race. Since the beginning of time, we humans have strived to transcend our natural limits. We have conquered the skies and the seas, and we have even traveled to outer space. But the one frontier that has always eluded us is time. Indeed, traveling through time is a dream many thought was out of reach for humanity. Until now. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I hope you will join me in ushering in a new era for mankind. Woo! Thank you for those words, Prime Minister. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for. Please take it away, Dr. Stangan. I have just one more request before we start. I'd very much appreciate the Prime Minister's assistance in this demonstration. What do you say, Mr. Hawks? What? I assure what? you, there's no cause for concern. But uh, I was under the impression that I would merely be observing the proceedings. Ah, well, do forgive my presumption. It was never my wish to make you uncomfortable. I realize it's been some time since you traded in the hard sciences for the softer variety. Please, feel free to return to your seat, Prime Minister. Wait. Uh, what I mean to say is, of course I can assist you. Bill, have you lost your mind? Ah, that's the courage we've come to expect from our fearless leader. You have my thanks. And now, without further ado, I give you my time machine. Mr. Hawks, would you mind just stepping inside? When do I get to do more puzzles? Very wrong. Uh, where is he? Someone find Bill! Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm and refrain from panicking. This is chaos. The Prime Minister and Dr. Stanker have vanished. My word. I am obvious and I'm saying the obvious! So, you think that what happened last week is somehow connected to this letter? Wait! Maybe if the time machine was real, this letter is real too! I don't know about that, but these two elements aren't the only puzzling issues. Tell me, Luke, have you heard about the recent disappearances occurring here in London? Oh, yes. I read about it in the paper. New mystery. Some of London's greatest scientists have been mysteriously vanishing. Yes, and I can't shake the feeling that those disappearances are linked to this whole affair. In any case, it seems our best course of action is to head to the location mentioned in the letter. Good idea. All right. Prime Minister Bill Hawks mysteriously disappeared in the accident at the Time Machine presentation. What could possibly have happened to him? Following the clue in the letter, the professor and I set off. What awaited us was one of the biggest mysteries we'd ever encountered. Nice.
To me. Somehow, a single letter has made its way back through time. And the sender, strange as it sounds, was me. The future me, that is. Little did we know that this letter would draw us into the strangest of situations. So, Professor Layton, where are the devs? Where do the devs originate from? Is is that an American thing? A European thing? A Japanese thing? Japan? Level 5. Were those the people who did... 999? Oh yeah, Dragon Quest. Right. No, okay. Ah, okay. That's good to know, jungle. Puzzle 2? The clock shop. Below is the map to the clock shop that accompanied the letter from Luke's future self. Starting from the yellow arrow, can you find the clock shop using the times listed on the map? Circle the letter of the correct building and submit touch. Uh... Okay. Use the size to circle the area you wish to submit. Okay, so... We he we're here. We go 12 o'clock. Alright. Then, um... 3 o'clock. Then 12 o'clock. Then 9 o'clock. Then 6 o'clock. H. Here's my answer. I did it. I know that how clocks work. They bought the death of Mighty Number no. Nine concept. I still have to play that game. Lesson one moving. Before we head off, let's quickly review how to move around. Touch the shoe icon. and touch the car. <gasps> I got a hint coin! Never mind the car, you got a hint coin. Nice. Hint coins literally everywhere. All right. Say, hey, Professor, how are we going to keep track of our progress? The trunk. Could use a refresher on that subject. To start, touch the trunk icon. This will open the trunk where you can access several useful options. Save. Okay. Puzzle index. Mm-hmm. 
This is the journal. Got it, Professor. One game was due in 2018, but it's had to be rebooted so many times. 2023, okay. Uh-oh, this guy has a puzzle. We're a bit of a whiz. Bus scheduling. Your bus journey to work takes one hour. You work for two hours, then take the bus home from the bus stop next to where you work. The bus timetables to and from work are shown below. You want to make the time between getting on the bus to work and getting off the bus from work as short as possible. Which bus should you take to work in order to achieve this? Wait, what? You want to make the time between getting on the bus to work and getting off the bus from work as short as possible. Which bus should you take to work in order to achieve this? So we the, the bus journey is one hour and we work for two hours. Dude, living the life. And then take the bus home. Okay, so... We need to have the least amount of downtime, basically. Um, touch the letter next to the departure time of the bus. Which bus should you take to work in order to achieve this? Right. So... These are the schedules, right? These are the bus schedules. To and from. So, to and from? Yeah. So, if we take the 4 a.m. one, if we get there at 5, then uh, we work for 2 hours, which is 7. And the closest to 7 is... Wait. So, this goes to 5. Um, and then uh, to 7. So, the closest... Um, is um, 3 hours 30. Okay. And then if we take the 9 bus, we get there at 10. We work till 12. And then we have a 5 hour wait. So if we take this one, we get there at um, 15.30. Um, we work till 17.30. And then we have a two and a half hour wait. Okay. If we take this one, we work till 19. Uh, but we, we get there, we work till 21. And then, uh, we have a three hour wait. And if we take this one, we get there at 1, we work till 3. And, uh... We have a... 2 hour wait. So... Technically... This one is correct, but... That is... Is this a trick question? Who works at midnight, right? Who works at midnight? <laughs> this is gonna be a trick question. <laughs> I... Like, this is what I hate about... This is what I hate about Professor Layton. E is the correct answer, right? But then it's gonna be like... No one works at this time of day! Ugh... <laughs> oh. Here's my answer. 
All right, we got it right. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, it's always in the back of my mind, like it's gonna trick you. This is gonna be a long game. <laughs> Look, let me let me enjoy this, okay? Let me enjoy being paranoid about bullshit puzzles, all right? Really, I thought it wouldn't do the thing again. I knew that was going to be a coin. Such thick, luscious leaves. What are these called? Bollards, right? It's a corner shop. Oh yeah, another hint coin. We don't need hint coins around this game. Another hint coin. Alright. It's the mayor, dude. It's the fucking mayor. Right? It's a heart. Oh, these stairs remind me of a puzzle. Of course they do. Two men are moving boxes from the ground floor to the top floor. The larger man can carry two boxes at a time and takes one minute to get to the top floor. Okay, so... This guy can grab two boxes in one minute. The smaller man can carry can only carry one box, one box. But takes just 30 seconds to reach the top floor. Both men take the same amount of time to return to the ground floor as they do to reach the top floor. Okay. The boxes are too bulky to pass from one man to the other on the way up. If there were seven boxes in total... How many minutes would it take for the men to get all the boxes to the top floor? Okay. So... Um, there's seven. Seven is X plus Y. Um, this guy does two X times one. Um, wait. Am I doing this right? I haven't done math in a long time. And this guy... No, it because the, we have to calculate down as well. Times two minutes. And then... This guy does Y times one minute. So, um,
Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. I, I haven't done math like this in a long time. If he does... Um... Seven is X plus Y. I... I don't know. How long... How many minutes would it take for the men to get all the boxes to the top floor? So... This guy takes... If he goes up once... Uh, he brings two boxes in two minutes. In the same time... This guy... Brings up two boxes as well. Right? Because he, he takes up one box... And two boxes. So, in two minutes... No, no, no. So... Wait. We've got two boxes. We've got... Ah, fuck. We race all. Yes. So, after 30 seconds, we've got one box. After... One minute, we've got three boxes. So, this guy takes one minute to go up and down. And then after, we've got four boxes after one minute thirty. And then, uh-huh. This guy takes another minute to go down. And then another minute to go up. So, after three minutes... We got another two. But this guy is up at 1.30. Goes down two minutes. Goes back up... At two minutes... At two minutes thirty. And then... One minute... wait... One minute... At three minutes, we've got seven. Because this guy went... Up... One minute... Down two minutes... Up three minutes, and that's four total. And in the meanwhile, this guy... so it's three minutes. And uh, how do I... answer? Uh, wait, wait, wait. How do I... No. What, what's my answer? Is it seconds? How many minutes would it take? Just three? Here's my answer. Okay, that's how you do it. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. The XY thing wouldn't have worked. Not in that situation. Yeah, I was overthinking it. But it doesn't work because the up and down thing, whatever. There's probably an equation for it that I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't want to go inside yet. It's time for another puzzle. Alright, you've arrived at the clock shop. But there doesn't seem to be any way of opening the door. 
You notice the strange design below displayed on the door and a voice calls out from the inside of the shop. Touch the panel with the timepiece on it. Which panel should you touch? Remember, you only need to touch one. Touch one, touch a panel you wish to submit as your answer. What? Touch the panel with the timepiece on it. Huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. With the timepiece on it. This one? Because it has a, uh... What's it called in English? <laughs> I forget the name in English. Hourglass. Sure. Here's my answer. Ha! They didn't get me that time. I knew it. I didn't want to go in there yet. What's this? What's this? Another puzzle. It's so dark in the shop that I'm having trouble seeing these tiny needles and wispy threads. Can you help me out of this jam, dearie? There are two threads A and B. How many needle eyes does thread A pass through? Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. How many needles' eyes does thread A pass through? Let's see if I've got this right. It wasn't a trick question. See, I'm so Just paranoid about these fucking puzzles.
back to back hint coins. Can you believe this clock? It reminds me of a splendid puzzle. When this wall clock fell to the floor, all the numbers were knocked off and the clock stopped. Even without the numbers though, you can tell the time at which the clock stopped. What time in hours and minutes is the clock displaying? Don't worry about AM and PM. Okay. Um... How do I know... It can only be... Wait, no, no, no. Alright, it has to be... Let me think... If they're like this, it has to be... Six PM. Well, six. Six o'clock. Right? Has to be six o'clock. Here's my answer. Yeah. No easy can stop Layton's apprentice. It's easy. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Another puzzle! Alright, let's go. Puzzle number eight. Here's a numberless clock face that some prankster has rotated in an unknown amount. The clock is still running normally though, and each colored circle on its face represents an hour. You can still tell what time it is without the numbers. Write down the exact hour. It doesn't matter whether it's AM or PM. It's just... 12 o'clock? Right? It's on an hour. So, it can only be... 12. This one's as good as solved. Phew! That's a relief. Spot on, Luke. All these hint coins. Hey, Zio. What's up?
All right, we need to find a gear. Cogged down. Your task is to make the top and bottom cogs in this turn in the same direction, as shown by the arrows on the diagram. In order to do this, which extra cog should be inserted? A, B, or C? Touch the letter in the center of the correct cog to submit your answer. What am I up to? Playing late in games. I haven't played this one yet, I think. I can't remember any of these puzzles anyway, so... So this turns like this. Which means... This turns like this. Ah, you can, you can have a big marker. Okay, that's better. That's much better. Uh, that means this turns like this. That means this turns like this. And this turns like this, right? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, this turns like... This turns like this, which means this turns like this. That means if it were to be C, it would turn like this. Would turn like that. And that would turn like that. So it's not C. It is not. Oh. It is not C. If it were to be B. That would be correct. Alright. And if it were to be A... Yeah, that would be incorrect. So it is B. That should do the trick. Because it's stupid hot. Where are you? Here it's still okay. Just it's like I 26, 27, but it doesn't feel that hot at all because there's a, a cool breeze. into the future. Unbelievable. I might have missed out on a few puzzles there, but whatever. When Professor Layton and Luke emerged from the clock shop, the streets of London suddenly looked quite different. What could have happened? it is for. No. 
That guy's hitbox was bigger than I expected. Definitely gonna need all these hint coins. How odd! But that's not what I wanted. So we can go in there. Guy doesn't want to talk to us, all right. Serving tea in London, silly you. All right, drunk dude is going to give us a puzzle. Even though we're constantly passing through time, it can sometimes be difficult to think about the way time flows. If yesterday's day after tomorrow is Sunday, what day is tomorrow's day before yesterday? <laughs> okay, so... So we've got Sunday. Uh, which is... Yesterday's day after tomorrow. What? Excuse me? If yesterday's day after tomorrow is Sunday. If... <sighs> so this is where English becomes very confusing for non-English speakers. If yesterday's... Day after tomorrow. So, if tomorrow is Sunday, then we are in Saturday, right? If yesterday's day after tomorrow is Sunday, wait, if yesterday's Day after tomorrow is Saturday. What? It today's Wednesday. I know, Susie. <laughs> no, it wasn't, Susie. <laughs> Susie's yelling answers at me from downstairs. She doesn't even know she doesn't even know the second half of this question, all right? <laughs> if yesterday's day after tomorrow is Sunday. So yeah, so two days before Sunday is Friday. But that's yesterday. So we're Saturday. Today is Saturday. What day is tomorrow's day before yesterday? What day is... What? What day is tomorrow's day before yet? What? English, what? I, I just... I, I'm having a very hard time even comprehending what they mean. Th 
the day before yesterday so two days ago so we are tomorrow is sunday and we need to know the day before yesterday of sunday minus two is friday so we need Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So, let's erase all. So, we've got Sunday, right? Let's do this again. The day after tomorrow is Sunday. So, minus 2 is Friday. So, well, tomorrow, today, plus 1 is Saturday. That's today. Then... Tomorrow... is Sunday. And then the day before yesterday, minus 2 is Friday. Yeah. Okay. Here's my answer. One out of seven, just guess it. Phew. Oh. That's a relief. I bet you knew the answer from Im immediately after reading that puzzle, Jungle. And this was all just some drunk guys rambling. We got a picture book? <laughs> Fun. You did. But look, in English that is very confusing because they said the same thing. Yeah, but for me that was very confusing because I had to think about what the fuck did he even mean, you know? Picture book. We got a plum tree and a boot. Okay. Picture book mini game. Fill in the missing elements of the story by placing stickers into each bin. Something wonderful will happen. Wonderful! Oh. Wait. One sunny morning, I was strolling past the meadow. As I walked past the tree on my right... I suddenly came upon an old man in front of me and a plum tree on my left. Oh, a plum tree on my left. As I walked past wait, a tree, I soon got to a big square with a tree in the middle. Underneath the tree, I saw a person gathering something. An old man. Alright. 
Fine. What about you? A hat could get you in trouble. want to go in there yet. Cryptic, you say? is a problem. Many, of pe many people in this part of London seem to be afraid of Professor Layton. Why would ordinary people who've never met him fear the mild and gentlemanly Layton? It seems to be something to do with the hat. Okay. So many hint coins. Lost puzzles. If we lose puzzle, if we don't find puzzles, we can come back here. All right. Or say. Five years in the future?
coins everywhere. <laughs> Identification by puzzle solving. Can you fit these five pieces together in the shape of Professor Layton's top hat without overlapping the pieces? You can flip and rotate. Okay. Oh no. Okay. Oh boy. got a good feeling about this one. Well, that's settled. That was quick. Professor. If you're reading this, it means you've made it safely to my time. I can hardly wait to see you again. I wish to enlist your help in freeing this town from the tragedy that has befallen it. But first, I'm sure you'll want some proof that you're actually in the future. I've thought long and hard about the best way of convincing you. Make your way through town to the address below. What you find there is sure to quell any doubts. Room 312, Green Hospital. 123 Auckland Lane. Okay. This young man sent Professor Layton a letter claiming to be Luke from the future, but how is that even possible? And wouldn't meeting this Luke con convey a uh, paradox in time? Continuation, blah blah. There's a train now. Bonk. Big oof. I love how in five years, the entirety of London changed. What did I even click to get a coin there?
Okay. A ladybird? Hotel Duke. <laughs> Look at that! I got all three hint coins in a row! You guys want me to add the cursor so you see where I'm pointing? Let's go outside first again. This guy might have a puzzle. Alright. Ooh, difficult puzzle. This puzzle is easy peasy. All you have to do is follow the arrows and move the seven cards with numbers and symbols on them to the spaces below. Oh, one more thing. The equation has to work out, of course. Uh, what? Okay. I mean, these crossing, they could go anywhere, right? Yeah. These could go anywhere. All of them could go anywhere, basically. These have colors on them. I mean... If we do... We can twist these around as well? What? Does that matter? Oh my god. We can make a minus. Wait, 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 wait. Got it. Dude, see? This is the bullshit I have started to expect from late in games, alright? <laughs> this is the bullshit that I was talking about.
That should do the trick. <laughs> oh. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. But that could have been... They, this could have very well been like... Follow the arrows, but they're crossing so they could go anywhere. Uh. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So, a yellow thing on my left. So, this is the incorrect tree. This tree. Okay. Yeah, this is emulated. I do have the game though, but I have no way of capturing the S. You know, I'm going to do this one sec. Um, properties capture cursor. Properties capture cursor. Okay, and now you should be able to see. Yeah, now you should be able to see my cursor. Retires Internet Explorer after 27 years. Wow. Bing! Oh, she's got a puzzle for me. Only one of these four pens is actually usable. Use the following clues to find the usable pen. All four pens currently have the wrong color caps. Okay. With the caps arranged correctly, all pens will have one white part. The usable pen is the one to the left of the one that should have the green cap. Okay. So everything needs one white part. So... This has to go... here. Um... All four have the wrong color cap.
That means green has to go here. And that means both of these have blue. With the caps arranged correctly, all pens will have one white part. So this has one white part, this has one white part, this has one white part, and this has one white part. Yep, the usable pen is to the left of the one that should have the green cap. This one. So it's C. This one's as good as solved. Got it. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. Incredible. She has another puzzle. Hey, LJK. Find the station. A woman is looking for the station, but it doesn't seem to appear on her map. The map does have one clue written on the back, however. To get from the flower shop to the station, follow the path that students take from the school to the library. Circle the station's location and submit. To get from the flower shop, this follow the path that students take from school to library. School? This is school? So we do... Um... Oh, oh, uh... Cancel, 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 cancel. Uh, I'm on. So, this is what the students take. And we need to get from the flower shop to the station, follow the path that students take from school to the library. What? I mean... <laughs> what? <laughs> to get from the flower shop to the station... Follow... Circle the station's location and touch submit. Does it want... It to be this one? Yeah, is is the map is the city a globe, indeed. I mean what if it's this? I 
I mean, this, I assume this means school. I assume this means library. Are these the roads? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we need to do, like... I mean, I don't know. This? But... So they go left. And then they go down for two. And then they go... Uh... And they go right. And they go left. Is it this what they mean? I guess this is what they mean, but... That is such a bad way of saying it. That is such a terrible way of saying it. Green ones only? Why is it green ones only? So what if they... Let's simplify, just do this and this. So, but how do we, I hate this, I hate this, they have to go like this, right? That's the only way. Like this. So what, what if we do the same, we go up? And then we go left for... Like this? And then we, we do... Like this? And then we go... Left again. So it's this one. I guess I just drew it really weirdly last time. Alright. This one then. this I knew it I mean I know it's a knight's move but that doesn't help me at all because what orientation does it want the knight's move to be you need to specifically move onto the street from that specific location like that is your only reference that that cube if it, it, it's weird See, that, that's exactly how they wanted it. You can only exit the school from exactly here. And you can only exit the flower shop from exactly there. So that that's, that's just weird. Alright, whatever, we did it. Yeah, the cube is an actual block and not just a place for it. 
I don't know what that means either. <laughs> box of matches. Oh no, a match puzzle. Oh no. These usually suck. Two people A and B. Those are some awkward names. Are discussing the number of matchboxes on a table. A is describing the matchboxes as seen from above. B is describing them as seen from the side. But we don't know which side, front, back, left, or right. What is the maximum number of matchboxes? Uh, maximum possible number of matchboxes on the table. Oh, God. Term block when it comes... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand now. I was thinking in blocks as toy blocks. Sorry. Alright, so... If it's... If it's this view... We've got... It's the maximum possible number, right? So... That is... These, which means we've got... Four... Maximum possible... Plus... Uh, nine... Plus three... Plus four, which is um, 20. So 20 is the first possibility. Am I right? 8, 17, 20. Yeah. Um, That's kind of awkward. Alright, then. If it's... Like this... We've got... So we need to turn it around then, right? We've got... 8... Plus... 6... Plus one, plus six. Right, because we're looking on it, which means it's reversed. Yeah. And this is 14, 15, 21. Okay. If we're looking this way, then we have four, nine, three, and four. Which is uh, 20 again? And then if we're looking this way, it's 6. Three, two, eight. 
which is 19. Alright. Here's my answer. A, B, C, D, E no is a name that apprentice. more than one person has. Okay. I haven't messed up a single puzzle yet, by the way. Bagsy. Oh yeah, we have uh, a new sticker as well. We just need one more tree. There's more stuff. So we need a cake or something and a tree still. Is this gonna be the parking cars minigame? might actually be something fun. Pick up all the items on the course and guide your car to the goal by placing tiles in the correct spots. Oh. <laughs> that, this is not what I was expecting. Number and types of tiles available for you to use will be different for each course. Place a tile by sliding it from the inventory on the right hand side of the screen to the desired location. You can put one tile on each square of the course. You can only put tiles on standard terrain such as grass or sand. Tiles can't be placed on squares that contain bridges, switches, trees, rocks, or water. When the car passes over a jump tile, it will leap over to the next square no matter what it contains. When the car passes over an arrow tile, it will turn and move in the direction of the arrow. Once the car has passed over a tile, the, car the tile will vanish from the course. Touch your car to change the direction in which it will start moving. Your car can only cross a bridge if there are no gaps in it. Raise and lower bridges by guiding the car over the yellow switches on the cores. Touch clear to return all the tiles you've placed in your inventory. Now your tiles are in place, touch go to start your car. If you place your tiles rightly... Uh... Okay, if you don't pick up every item on the course along the way, you won't clear the course. Are there any obstacles? You want to start again? Between the courses. Okay. Pass over all the flags.
Um, Did it. You have another puzzle? No. That's not what I wanted. We'll go in there later, okay? That- I didn't even click the door, alright? I didn't even click the door. Another puzzle from the shady dude. This guy tried to trick me last time. Okay, if seven days after 70 days ago was Sunday, which day is it seven days before 70 days from now? Sunday? One's as good as solved. I knew it. Okay. Some of these are so obvious that is like what? <laughs> Whatever. There was only one hint coin here. Oops. The scrawled note. It seems you need to enter a number to open the door. The only clue you have is a hastily written note from a woman known for her poor handwriting. Can you work out the number you need?
Was it two, four, three? Yes, Frozer. Oh no. That should do the trick. <laughs> my first wrong answer I'm on sure bullshit. My logic was sound. If only I could find some numbers. I mean... This is obviously a four, right? What if this is a four and this is a one? What would this number be? So this is why it's these games are 50% quite nice, 50% infuriating garbage. <laughs> This is so... This is such... This is not a puzzle. This is just bullshit. Alright. I guess we need a hint. It looks like RHB, you say? No, that's not the right track at all. Try looking at things in a different way. Yep. Thanks. The, the hint system is also great. The answer is a number, so perhaps these scrawls are numbers too? The mark at the end looks a bit like an equal sign, doesn't it? What? The note is an equation consisting of two three-digit numbers. Take a closer look.
What? I'm looking at a blurry mess of pixels video game. I'm sorry, but the note actually reads 121 minus 113 is. It's bullshit. <laughs> Excuse me? What is what? 121 minus 113 is. Excuse me? One, two, one. Oh my god, I see it now. I see it now, alright? I see it. Holy shit, I see it. <laughs> well, you got me, game! You got me good! Wow, I could have never figured that out. Like, literally. This is impossible. So, the answer is... Um, eight? doesn't really help me, does it? <laughs> I... I guess it's this? I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> well, that's settled. <laughs> oh my god. If you look at the note in the right way, if you close one eye, put a finger in your right ear, put another one in your right nostril, you might be able to see that it's complete bullshit. <laughs> it, every single latent game has these kind of puzzles that are a thousand percent impossible to figure out. Unless you literally use every single hint. It's... It's so dumb. It's so dumb. I got a banana sticker. Any of you in the chat figured that out by yourself? Any liars in the chat?
banana. Did we do it? Oh, we, we're still missing a tree. You're a bullshit artist. You clip me writing it? What, the correct solution? Yeah. Just, come on, man. Just come on, man. Uh-oh. The banana puzzle. Some jobbo? What's a jobbo? Make your way from the start to the goal, but be wary of banana skins. Skins? Whenever you step on one, you'll slide without stopping until you hit a wall. Can you find a solid route through these slippery streets? Touch your red arrow to move in that direction. Alright, so... Basically, we need to get here. Which means we have to come from here. Which means we have to come from here. We can't come from here, so we have to come from here. Do the banana peels go away? Uh, unlikely. We can go like this. Oh, yeah, okay. I got it. No, that's not even... no. Hey, Jevon. Ten years in the future. We solved a mystery. Nice.
Give me those hint coins. I need them to solve bullshit. You didn't have a puzzle, no. Alright. A selection of shady characters all dressed identically in grey seem to lurk on every street corner in the future London. What are they up to? This is gonna be a puzzle. I can sense it. Oops. Already there. There was a coin in the garbage. Hidden puzzle? 146? Kooee! I'm trying to shoo the birds away from those wires. Every time I clap my hands, half of them fly away, but then one comes back. The pattern keeps repeating itself even if I stood here clapping my hands all day. The number of birds would always end up back where, I, where it started. How many birds were there on the wires originally? Hmm. Every time I clap my hands, half of them fly away, but then one comes back. The pattern keeps repeating itself, even if I still need to clap my hands only. Uh, two? Two to one? To two! Right? Half of them fly away, but one comes back. Yeah. Hmm. How about this? There were two in the picture? To relief. Hidden puzzle, man. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Dang it. I need coins. It's my it's my bullshit filter. Fine. Oh, 
Oh, hello. One question. A doctor has to visit nine hospital rooms on her rounds. The number of rooms she needs to visit are listed below. When checking the room numbers, she notices that she's always that she always proceeds to a room with at least one digit in common with the room she's currently in. She can visit all rooms in one trip. Which will be the fifth room she visits on such trip? Okay. So... These have one in common. Okay. And then... Wait, we need, we need to find... We need to find a room that has nothing in common. So there's an 8... 1... 3... 5... 6... 9... Four, two. So two is an ending. Two is an ending. Uh, three, five, four, and seven is an ending. Okay, so let's say we start at 71. We have to go to 18. Then 18 has to go to 38. 38 goes either to 63 or 33. Uh, I mean, these are connected. Then... These are connected. Then... These are connected. Then this goes here and ends. Then 33 has to be in the middle. So this goes here. 33 has to be in the middle of these. So like this. And then that goes like this. I made a mess of this, but... So this is room 1, this is room 2, this is room 3, this is room 4, this is room 5. And if you go the other way, this is 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, yeah, it's always this room, 63. Let's see if I've got this right. All right. Well, that's settled. Dead tree. Okay. We can solve the first picture book then. Congratulations! We don't have any stickers for this yet.
Who's that? Oh, it's you, Herschel, and little Luke. Andrew? Hmm. Why the quizzical look, Herschel? Have I got food in my beard again? Oh, don't mind that, my boy. Sit down, sit down. You know, I've been hearing some very unsavory rumors about you recently, but I don't believe a single one of them. What sort of unsavory rumors? What sorts, you ask? The ones about the, uh, the hoochie was it? The, the thingamawizard? The, uh, oh, oh, drat. I seem to have forgotten them completely. Aww. Well, Very unfortunate. Uh oh. There's something odd about his X-ray. Professor Layton and Luke are discussing Dr. Schrader Schrader's X-ray. Look, Professor, somebody must have left those scissors inside Dr. Schrader during his operation. Look at that shadow. Can you believe it? I wouldn't worry about those, Luke. That's not what Dr. Schrader should really be concerned about. As the professor said this, he pointed at something odd on the x-ray. What did he point to? Circle it and touch submit. What is odd about this picture? There's an arrow pointing to nothing. Or is it this thing? This is his stomach, right? There's something in his stomach. Maybe. It's either this or it's this, but I think it's... I don't know. Oh. Sure. Let's see if I've got this right. Got it! Few things satisfied Whatever that is. Puzzle solved. There's a mysterious white shadow in the bottom of Dr. Schrader's stomach. Perhaps he swallowed a hint coin or something. Dark shadows are probably just the result of a practical joke. Hi, ah, yes. Yeah. Ha! Funny. Dr. Schrader needs to drink one-fifth of this bottle of medicine per day over a period of five days. Unfortunately, the dosages aren't marked on the bottle. Dr. Schrader has taken the first dose and the amount of medicine in the bottle has been reduced to the level shown in the diagram. It's now time for the second dose. To where should he drink today? Draw a line on the bottle to mark the point at which he st should stop drink- Oh my fucking god. One-fifth. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Just make the liquid go- Just like, make the liquid go like- <laughs> uh. Wait, what?
Não. One fifth. If we do this, he takes half. That's more than he needs to. That's it. You will have drunk that plus that, yeah. Hmm. How about this? Phew. That's a relief. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. More hint coins. Yes, more of them. Well, Andrew, it's been wonderful seeing you, but it's growing late. We ought to be on our way. Ah, busy as always, I see. Do drop by again when you have the time, won't you? Oh, but before you go, I have something of yours I should return. I've been looking after her for some time now, you see. Please. I won't be needing her anymore. So oh, you can a car, probably. Away. The old dears parked around back. Yeah. Sure. All right, we solved twenty two puzzles. Wanna look through the rubbish? Come on. Only one coin here. Unbelievable. A peculiar lock. We have the key! You've been given two keys to the Layton Mobile, but there's no keyhole in which to insert them. Instead, the door can be opened by entering a certain number. This number is hidden somewhere in the keys. What is it? Forty-seven. Problem is it gonna be forty-seven or do I need another number? Gonna it's just gonna be forty-seven, right? Right? Right. Right? 
Right. That should do the trick. Yeah. Well, that's settled. What's this? The engine won't start. Well, it has been ten years since we last saw the later mobile, Professor. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a broken part or two. Oh, my cat. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look, Professor. There's something on the passenger seat. Professor. I hope that by this point you're convinced that this is the London of the future. Now that we are on the same page, I'd like to explain to you the secret that's plaguing London. However, I think it would be best to discuss this issue in person. Meet me at the Gilded Seven Casino on Flatstone Street. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay. Well, what do you say, Luke? Are you ready to meet your future self? Honestly? I don't know. This whole situation is making me feel very strange. That's quite understandable. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, chapter two. My boy. Let Stone Street. We haven't really clicked on stuff here. See? I knew there were gonna be more coins. Ask him again, though. Oh. Oh, puzzle time. The bridge below has been painted in a black and white check pattern. Starting from the bottom left arrow, you need to cross the bridge and finish at the top right arrow. You can move one square at a time, either up, down, left, or right. You can't move diagonally. Now here's the tricky part. How many different routes across are there uh, that ex cross exactly four black squares and three white squares?
That's one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So that's two. That's three. Many? Is there an easy solution to this? There's so many options. Okay, let's see. We've got one. Kinda of awkward. Oh, dang it. I'm just thinking about this, right? One, three, five. No, here it becomes even more complicated. One, three, five, seven, nine possibilities. Fifteen? Maybe? Oh no. That does- that's not right. Because the three from here are- so it's- ugh. One, two, maybe three, four, five. Yeah. Oh no, this only adds two, right? Oh no, 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 this adds three. And this adds... One? And this adds three more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like this. It's six, ten, fifteen.
Let's see if I've got this right. All right. Just as I suspected. I wonder if you're going to have a good explanation for this one. No. <laughs> no, they don't have an explanation. It was just 15. Fine. I was expecting a scientific explanation that explains how you get to the number 15, but no. The explanation was, HA! You didn't expect that, did you? That was their explanation. This guy is not going to be of any help. Or maybe... Oh, he helped us last time. Never mind. to Becky. Just looking for puzzles, man. Let's see if we missed any puzzles. Watch out, Professor! There's a bee over there! Now, Luke, I'm sure he won't hurt us, as long as we don't bother it. If you say so. You know, I've never seen a bee quite like this. Can you try talking to him, Luke? I suppose I can try. Well, look at Mr. Tall out here. Clearly he knows a bee of distinction when he sees one. Wow. <laughs> You're not like any bee I've ever met. Isn't that what I just said? Well, it's true. I'm no run of the eye bee. But I do try to blend in. You'd probably have better luck blending in if you didn't talk. Sure, whatever you say, smart guy. But listen, I've got something you should hear. You know those puzzles you don't get around to solving? Well, they all come hang out with me. You see, I have what you might call one of them magnetic personalities. Wait. Okay. 
Are you saying you've got the same job as Granny Riddleton? Granny who? I don't know no grannies. But my name is Beasley. Beasley the Bee. I'm going to tell you how to peruse those puzzles now. So listen good. Huh. I'm all ears. Tap that flower over there to see a list of all the puzzles I've got. It's as simple as that. So anytime you get a craving to solve some of the puzzles you left behind, come here. Did that all make sense? Because people tell me I do tend to drone on. <laughs> get it? Drone? <laughs> it makes perfect sense. All right, then. You have fun with those puzzles, and I'll be here if you need me. All right. So don't just stand there with your mouth hanging open. Tap that flower and get solving. There are currently no puzzles. We found all the puzzles, guys. All of them. All right. Oh, there was a bird. Rip bird. We'll see that bird again, I'm sure. Herschel. Oh, do you really like it? I don't just like it. I love it. Thank you so much. Picking out the right gift can be quite the puzzle. <laughs> Lucky for me, every puzzle oh. has an answer. Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. No. no. Awkward. I've been thinking. Go on. If I were to get the teaching job, then we... Hmm? Well... Mm. <laughs> I'm hmm? listening, Herschel. Oh, um... <laughs> I'll tell you later. Come on now. Tell me more about these plans of yours. No, oh, it was nothing. Now let's eat before our food gets cold. Hey, you can't just change the subject. What are you talking about? <laughs> I did nothing of the sort. You most certainly did. All right. Does this manhole remind you of anything, Professor? A puzzle, dear Luke. I see. Puzzle. 
These three shapes were created by moving and rotating a mirror over a capital letter. Can you work out which letter it was? The P? Wait. The R. Right? It can't be the R. I mean, both of these can be a P. But this can't be a P? Oh, it can be a P. Let's see if I've got this right. Well, that's settled. Easy. A sticker. The manager, the manager, the manager, that a white thing. No, the manager, person, a drink. Now that's a casino. A hidden puzzle. One of the five people shown below has a very unique nickname, Mr. A20. A rather odd moniker, I'm sure you'll uh, agree, though apparently everybody who sees this person thinks it's just perfect. Well then, who is Mr. A20? Circle this person and touch to submit. I mean... I see A20 here. Right? Whatever, sure. Here's my answer. It's not correct. I guess it's back to the drawing board. There was clearly an eight twenty on that person, though. I mean, if it's this guy, if, if it's this guy, right? Then someone needs to reevaluate his knowledge of Roman numerals, all right?
Dude. God damn it. Is it this guy? Because his mustache is pointing towards A20. It must be this guy then. But, I mean... This literally says 820 as well, so... This one's as good as solved. No puzzle can stop Layton's apprentice. They won't always be wearing the same thing. And women and children, of course, wouldn't be called Mr. It's a nickname! Wow! Wow, Leighton! How dare you! How is this game not cancelled yet? Ugh. Game logic. Japanese game logic. Membership card. Doctor Sting. Here's a painting of two players in fierce competition over a game of cards. At first glance, nothing seems strange, but occasionally people remark, if there's really if they're really in fierce competition, isn't this part of the painting strange? Circle the part of the painting that people would find strange, then submit.
Anyone? Ending of two players in fierce competition over a game of cards. Hey, what? What is what is wrong about this picture? I have no idea. Sure, whatever. That should do the trick. No. Nope. Well, if at first you don't succeed. Try considering how things would look from a different perspective. What is this thing? Oh, it's the lamp. It's a lamp shining light. You guys think you've got it? This is what my brain can't do, by the way. Look at the picture and find what's wrong with it. This is this is very specific for what my brain cannot do. <laughs> I've done a lot of tests and I fail every single one of these. Because I I cannot see the entire picture in my brain for whatever reason. I don't see anything wrong with this picture. Imagine you were here playing cards at this table. Is there anything you find unusual? The baby? Is the baby eating my things? Let's see if I've got this right. No. Hmm. I must have overlooked something. This painting is of two chaps in fierce competition. Look closely at the players.
What? Have you given some thought to the characteristics of playing cards? Look carefully at the cards that the man in the foreground is holding. The location of the number on the cards is a clue. What? What do you mean the location of the fucking numbers? Let's see if I've got this right. What? Well, that's settled. What? I'm getting a deck of cards. I have a deck of cards right here, people. I have a deck of cards right here. Well, they have numbers on both sides, but still. Let me show you. Let me, let me show you. All right. He's holding four cards, right? Right? And he's holding them like this. Alright? You can see every single number. All of them. <laughs> this is bull shit. <laughs> there his hand is not. It's. He wasn't holding that one. He, he. What? He wasn't holding one that way. What? Completely horizontal. But, wow. Completely horizontal. Alright. One completely vertical and one completely horizontal. Alright? Wow. You can see... You can only see 90% of the letter. Alright, I'm sorry. You can only see 90% of, of the number. Oh no. Now I can't play the video. The fucking card game. What? Just have them more spread out. Exactly. <laughs> it, like, if you see here, they're not even overlapping. His cards are not even overlapping in half of them. Here and here. Here, maybe a little bit. He had a card. Had a hand on them. What? Look, whatever you, you say this is, whatever, whatever you think... If you think this is a good puzzle, you're wrong, alright? This is complete and utter bullshit. <laughs> this is complete and utter bullshit. Never in my life, never in my life with the hundreds of decks of cards I've ever held in my hand, have I ever had the issue or even the thought of, hmm, am I holding these cards incorrectly? Never in my entire life has this been remotely an issue. Ever. <laughs> Ever. This is this is not an issue. <laughs> Alright? 
No person in the entire world in history has ever had this issue while playing a card game. Ever. In millions of years. In <laughs> millions of years that humans existed. This has never been an issue. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. That was... I need a bullshit counter. That... Th that this was number two, but I'm gonna give it a one and a half. This, this was number two and a half on the bullshit counter, alright? Holy fuck. What, what was I expecting? We're entering a casino. Of course we we're gonna get bullshitted into losing our money, right? Ah. Fucking hell. Fucking latent games, dude. So you're... He's the future me? It's good to finally meet you, Professor. Or rather, I suppose I should say it's nice to see ah. you again. It's me, Luke Triton. Isn't space-time continuing supposed to Hello, literally explode Luke. when this happens? Um, hi, Professor. Oh, you're talking to him. This is going to take some getting used to. I can't believe how small I used to be. Hey! I'm not that small. So tell me, why exactly did you go through such pains to bring us here? I'll be happy to tell you in just a moment. But before that, I'd just like to verify that I'm dealing with the real Professor Layton here. Who else would I be? Allow me to explain. In my London, it's rare to find someone who doesn't know the name Herschel Layton. In fact, Many imposters have come forth recently, claiming to be him. Are you saying you think the Professor is a fraud? Professor, if you think back on our adventures together, you may recall a man named Don Paolo. As you know, he was a master of disguise. How do I know the man before me now isn't Don Paolo in another of his costumes? Now that's just rubbish, and you know it! Is it now? He's tricked us before. Who's to say he couldn't do it again? Very well. I'll play along. How do you propose I prove my identity? It's quite simple, really. Hmm? Professor, I challenge you to a battle of wits! Okay. Before us are four cards arranged according to the following set of conditions. First, a heart is next to a diamond. Second, a club is next to a, is not next to a spade. Oh God. A heart is directly to the right of a club. I need this. Give me the puzzle. Okay. A heart is next to a diamond. A club is not next to a spade. And a heart is directly to the right of a club. Can you work out which one is the spade, Professor? Okay, so... A heart is directly to the right of a club. So, let's say... Oh. Let's say we have... A heart. And it's directly right of a club. No, clubs is uh, the clover, right?
Uh, a club is not next to a spade. So the spade is is here. And a heart is next to a diamond. Wait, what? Oh, 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 no, no, no. Um... A heart is next to a diamond. So the diamond is here. And then the spade must be here. Club sits directly to the right. What? Wait, what? Oh. This wasn't even a puzzle for us. It seems you're the genuine article, Professor. I'm glad to see that I have finally convinced you. To be honest, I was convinced from the beginning. But I just couldn't pass up the opportunity to pit myself against my mentor in a battle of wits. Hmm. I'm flattered, I suppose. So? Out with it! Why did you call us here? We solved another mystery. All right. The London of the future. Another mystery solved, I guess. Prime Minister, Parliament was in utter chaos. Imagine, imagine a country, imagine a city without a parliament. Holy shit, utter chaos. Belgium's been without the government for over a year. We we didn't we never noticed any difference 
Well, not now. It was a few years ago, but... Pandemonium. What a crazy plot. False name. Okay. What are the odds that that Dr. Strogan or whatever his name is is pretending to be Professor Layton? Another mystery, another mystery, and solved one, and another one. The future Herschel Layton is a crime lord who terrorizes London with his gang of thugs. Known and feared by Londoners as the devil in the top hat, how could this model English gentleman have turned into such a monster? Dr. Strangun is the scientist who unveiled the time machine at the presentation, but no records exist of a scientist with that name. He must be somebody else, using an alias to cover up his true identity. Who is he really? I've seen any of you round here before. 
Yes, well, we don't often get a chance to visit this fine establishment of yours. Don't know about that, but I'm gonna need you to come with me for some questioning. This way, you free. Uh, professor, run away while you can. Whoa. Oh, no! Uh, quickly, you two, this way. Don't let him escape! Yeah! Don't, Don't let, let him escape! escape. Okay. Hey, Nubist, what's up? I don't know, man. Fucking Tommy guns. We surround it, Professor. Calm yourself, Luke. I have a plan. But wait! Where are you going? <laughs> do you see a way out of this? I do, but I'll need your help. I'm doing okay, Nubist. Playing games, like always, you know. Uh-oh, a 40 pick rat puzzle. Playing one shitty game after another, you know. Build a coin gun. Build a coin gun from the parts of this disassembled slot machine and help our heroes fight back. Rotate the parts to fit them into the checkered shape below. You must use all of the parts, and none of them can overlap. Now hurry. Oh my goodness. So this clearly can't be in this orientation. Oh my god, no! Alright, this is looking promising. Maybe not. Yes. Alright. I've got a good feeling about this. No, I'm, ki I'm kidding, Dolorov. <laughs> I played Twilight Princess before this as well. Which was also really good. I mean, <laughs> I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say the latent games are fantastic. This is definitely not my type of game, honestly. There's too much bullshit. But, I mean, they're definitely not a bad game. Good but waggling? There's no waggling in this game, luckily. What is happening? Screaming internally. Shit, I think my... I 
think my um, sub my uh, subscription to Cotty ran out last week. I say that was a close one. We gave them a taste of their own medicine. Funny, I don't remember you helping. Look, you're me, so that means I get some credit for assisting. Oh, is that so? That's very interesting logic. Right. You get a new puzzle. Or a car thing. Chapter 3. Big Luke and Little Luke. Oh, God. Future Luke. Oh, my God, no. The restaurant, yep. We have to start with this. What's this? Jump. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I'm missing one, I know.
Also, this jump doesn't work because I crash. Well, not necessarily. This doesn't work. This does not. your deal. Goodbye. Wet footprints. Dude. You have to go to... Hey, Susie. To the, the restaurant, right? this guy he's he's a puzzle game oh it's the girl right a house plan all right this empty plot is lined with wooden stakes that form a grid of squares your job is to stretch some ropes between the stakes so that the four-person family planning to build a house here can have four identical shaped rooms using up the whole plot of land. For a straight line across multiple stakes, be sure to only use one rope. You need to complete this puzzle using five ropes or fewer. Okay. Two, three, five or fewer. Four identical rooms. Hello.
Hallo, Nubist. I shouldn't be drawing this, maybe. <laughs> this is a very interesting shape I'm, I'm making here. <laughs> no, nothing, don't worry about it. Um... Four identical runes. So, let's say... We want this, but we can't. Because we yeah, need good. this and this. So how do I incorporate... This into... Like... Oh. All of the runes. Hmm. If I need this, and I give it a little extra bit, then you still have runes with more. Ooh. And then the other one, same. It has it the same. But if we'd need a, an identical shape here, we would need this, which we can't do. I think with the... Uh... If we have a shape like this, how would we incorporate that in well, the straight line? How would we incorporate that into here? doesn't make sense. Is this the same everywhere? <clears throat> No, it's not. Hmm.
It has to be something with diagonals, I feel like, but... You think this puzzle tricked me? This empty plot is filled is lined with wooden stakes that form a grid of squares. Your job is to stretch some ropes between the stakes that has a four-person family behind a villa house here. Identically shaped rooms using the whole plot of land. For a straight line across multiple stakes. How how has it tricked me? It says it forms a grid of squares, though, which is already lying. Size? For identically shaped rooms. Ah. Wow, that's... if that's really the trick... How would that even work? That doesn't work. It has to be the same size because we have a one tile... We have a one... You, you can't divide this into a smaller thing. Right? Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm very puzzled about this one. I don't see it. Just make it a 3D image, right? Wow! This is, uh, really puzzling me. Let's take a hint. Yeah, yeah. They don't have to be the same size! This already doesn't work. Trapeziums.
What? The only way to make a trapezium is in any of these shapes, but... I can't really make a trapezium with the other two, then. The solution involves two large rooms of the same size and two small rooms of the same size. The large rooms are perfectly proportional to the small ones. Uh, all right. Yeah, the hints are u useless. Like, yep, we already knew all of those hints. We already knew all of those hints. It's not trapeziums. Okay. I've already gotten three hints, and they were useless, FK.
Something I have in my room, maybe. Okay. Super hint, sure. Picture a cut diamond, the type that you'd put in a ring. Viewed from the sides, the four rooms are all that shape. That's it. This one's as good as solved. Jesus. Yeah, I completely blanked on that one. Well, these families are going to be really happy. Yeah, what do I have in my room that is diamond-shaped? Was this what you had in mind, FK? Diamonds are forever? Yeah, I do have that one, but it's, it's in the other room now.
Oh. Oh, it goes over that twice, right. This solves it, right? Oh, it opens all the bridges. Crap. There's another jump. Yump. All right. What now? Uh, we had to go to the restaurant, right? There's the restaurant. I'm sorry, Professor. Shipley? Oh yeah, he brought us the letter in the first place. But we saw him before. It was here something, right? Oh. Ah, she has a puzzle now.
thirsty work. Rubbing his back, the waiter sighed warily and said, I always use the same box to carry as many glasses as I can at a time, but there's one type of glass that I really hate carrying. One of the four glass types pictured here. Which one is the waiter talking about? Keep in mind, they all weigh the same. I mean, this one's top heavy. They're not filled. They're not filled with water, right? I always use the same box to carry as many glasses as I can at a time. But there's one type of glass that I really hate carrying. Of the four glass types pictured here, which one is the waiter talking about? Keep in mind that they all weigh the same. What? We're missing some crucial information here, people. And this is supposed to be an easy puzzle. I always use the same box. I mean, this one has... This one is taller. And has a, like... I don't know. Rubbing his back. Gross. What? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he can fit more glasses of D? But it has the base is just as long. So, can it really fit more of D? Not really. If I take if I take a ruler, you know, this one's two point three centimeters. This one's two point three centimeters. This one's two point five centimeters. So we can carry less of C, and this one's. 2.3 centimeters. Oh my god, FK. Oh my god. But then the question is, does the box have a top? It's B. Oh my I've God. got a good feeling about this one. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Yeah, sure.
Unbelievable. Yeah, I know, it was too heavy. So I was thinking, of which can I take more of? And that was the only option, I guess. Oh, my eyes. Making the cut. This wooden board is oddly shaped and difficult to work with. The best solution would be to cut it into two pieces that form a square when they are combined. However, the grain of the wood means that the two pieces can't be flipped or rotated after being cut. Draw lines where the board needs to be cut. Okay. Let's see if I've got this right. All right. Well, that's settled. Yeah, that was a puzzle. <laughs> Remember the previous puzzles being difficult? We didn't miss any puzzles. Oh, we've already talked to her. Oh, new person. Three biscuits? You have 15 biscuits to share among a large group. The first person eats one biscuit and passes two equal shares to the remaining biscuits of the remaining, to the other two people. They both eat a biscuit and both pass two equal shares of the remaining biscuits to other and so on until so so it takes one minute to eat the biscuit, ignoring the time it takes to pass them. What's the shortest amount of time in minutes that it would take for all the biscuits to be eaten? So there's 15 minus 1, 1 minute. So we have 14, so 7 and 7. Minus 1, minus 1, 1 minute. 6, so we have 3, 3. Three, three, one minute. And then we have one, two, Two equal shares. There's no more equal share. There's half a cookie left.
So thirty seconds. One, two, three, four and a half minutes. Three minus one divided by two. What? Oh, shit. Did I do that wrong? Oh, yeah. I did that wrong. Fifteen... to seven... to three... to one. Alright. I was wrong. So it's one, two, three, four minutes. That's not a nine. Hmm. How about this? Phew. That's a relief. We got a picture, uh, a thingy, a sticker. Um, what did we get? A raincoat. Manager, manager, a white thing. A raincoat? Can't find the white thing. There's no milk. What's next? Just looking for puzzles, man. Do like two more puzzles and then I gotta go. Here you go. What's this now? Open it and see. A hat? <laughs> For the newly appointed professor. Congratulations. Thank you. You're a fully fledged member of the academic community now. So you've got to look the part. <laughs> Very dashing, Herschel. The picture of a true gentleman. A true gentleman? Hmm. No, leave it on. It suits you. It really does. Always wear so this no hat from now on. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at the time. I didn't realize how late it was. I have to go to the lab. We're running a very important experiment today. Let's continue this celebration over dinner tonight. Oh, and promise me you'll wear the hat. It's not your usual style, but keep an open mind. After all, isn't that what a gentleman does? I'll decide what to wear, woman. Hmm. Not her mystery. A woman who looks uncannily like Professor Layton's old sweetheart Claire is wandering around town. Who could she be? It's me! In the end, the little boy was taken by his illness. However, the extraordinary friendship between the author and the boy would last forever. Okay. Layton! It's a puzzle. Here's a photo of four knights with lances. One of the lances is broken, but it was repaired with a string just before the photo was taken. Whose lance is it? Of course, all the, all the lances were originally straight. That's straight. That's straight. That's kinda crooked. That's straight. Alright. Here's my answer. The almighty ruler. Phew. That's a relief. All right, it's official. Brothers and sisters. There are three siblings, A, B, and C. I have one older brother and three younger sisters. I have two older brothers and two younger sisters. I have three older brothers and one younger sister. Given that all their statements are true, what is the lowest possible number of siblings in this family? So, A says, B 
He's got one male plus. And three female minus. Okay, so we have at least five. What is the lowest possible number of siblings? B says... I have two older brothers. And two younger sisters. Isn't this all just bullshit? And C says, I have three older brothers. Wait. Yeah. And one younger sister. What the fuck? So... If both... A and B... Are male... Then these are... A and B. And if C is female, then this is C and C. Let's say this is D. This is all D. And then we have E E E and F A B C D E F so then we have six If and this incorporates all of them into the schematic. There's always one extra, right? Oh, there's two. Wait. There's two X. There's always two extra. At least. This is a confusing one. Why would they... Like... Alright, so... All their statements are true. Why would they not say they have why would they just be silent about one of their brothers and sisters why why would they not mention one of their siblings that is so awkward
older? What? If B and C... What? I don't understand what you're saying. If these are B and C... And we still have two extra. There's always a minimum of six. There's always a minimum of six. Fuck it. I've got a good feeling about this one. That's just a weird, well, a weird puzzle. All right, whatever. But why would they not mention a sibling? It's like they're telling the truth. What? <laughs> I mean, it's technically true that if I have three brothers, I also have two brothers. That is technically true, but it isn't the truth. They didn't mention younger brothers. Oh, like that. Like that. I see, I see, I see, I see. Right. So, the way I deducted it, I got lucky. Because... Basically, my math was incorrect. But I still got the correct number. I see. I get it now. I get it now. I get it. Technically incorrect, but still the correct answer. Other sticker. I kind of want to do one more puzzle because one was like literally two seconds. Coffee? I think we need the coffee here, and then the cocoa here. No, so the cocoa needs to be... There's no milk. Britain is melting my brain? What? I'm not even in Britain. Well, in this game I am. 
All right, one more puzzle. One more puzzle. My boy. That's another thing I hate about these games, that it pushes you forward when you don't want to go forward, because you don't know what exactly you want- you need to be clicking on. Real puzzle addicts. Alright, you return to your flat to find a strange piece of paper. Oh, no, it's to next to your calculator. Hey, Goose. There's been some bullshit puzzles already, man. Your flatmate must have been trying to tell you something before he left. The note says 101 times 5. What word could your flatmate have been trying to convey to you with this mysterious memo? What word? Sex lol? We checked one of the translated puzzle books by the puzzle setter for this game. Oh. SOS? Do I have a calculator here? No. One zero one times five is five hundred and five. SOS is what I What word? La 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 Right? Us. Calculator. One O one X five. Page 21. On the wall of Suzuki's toilet, there's a calendar on which a proverb is written. As a result, Suzuki's twin brother... Hiro Mitsu always takes good points in the proverbial test. However, my sister Noboku, who is receiving the same test, is useless. I wonder why. By the way, Suzuki family has only one toilet. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? The calendar was above the toilet. There are many cases that are in habit becoming blind spots. The problem is typical in that case. By changing the viewpoint a little, new ideas are sometimes born from everyday life. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Alright, this puzzle though. A strange piece of paper next to the calculator. Your flatmate must have been trying to tell you something before he left. The note says 101 times 5. What word could your flatmate have been trying to convey to you with this mysterious memo? The boy stands up while taking- Oh! What if I would say that I basically always take a piss when sitting down? So that wouldn't even apply to me. The situations where I piss standing up are rare. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> sorry. Sorry that I find sitting down on a toilet convenient. Right? <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, I have an actual mod in chat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Thanks, Goose. Alright, what, what, what is this puzzle? What word could your flatmate have been trying to convey to you with this mysterious memo? SOS is the only thing I can think of. Oh, it's a... Uh... Let's see if I've got this right. It is right. Okay. Well, sure. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. Imagine having the brain power to write down SOS instead. <laughs> how, how easy would life be if you could write down SOS on a piece of paper? Holy shit. Man. That is some future fucking things. People need to invent this, alright? Holy shit. Are we doing one more, people? One more? Just- just one more, right? Just one more. Just- just one more. Back in the casino. Dude, here we go. 
Secret puzzle. Hidden puzzle. There are three strange symbols, A, B, and C. If A is 63... Wait, well, let's, let's do that. If A is 63, and B is 89... What on earth could C be? You can take it for granted that C will be a two-digit number as well. Yeah, I gave T Twilight Princess a 9. Free game. I'll grab it after stream. 63 and I don't make a 6 out of this, though. Or can I? Yeah, oh. It could be sixty one. Let's just say it's 64. I've got a good feeling about this one. Nope. It's not 64. Okay. I was sure my logic was sound. From a bit further away. I mean, this is thinner than that. It's like this. It's fifty two.
That should do the trick. Yay! Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. All right. Unless there's anything else in this room. No, that seems to be it. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Let's save. Uh... That is it for today. Stop the timers. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more Layton. I don't know how long this game will be. We've done like, what, 30 puzzles? And there's 165 total, so this might take a while. But yeah. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, have a nice evening, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.